Alright, it's been a while. We had a long hot summer and uh, haven't been able to work on this. You know, I mean, we've had, you know, weeks, weeks on end of straight 95 to 100 degree weather. So, uh, so it's uh, September, around September 9th, I think. And uh, it's finally, matter of fact, it's, it's 85, 90 degrees today, but uh, I'm going to uh, try and uh, get back on this and, and uh, finish this up. You know, I mean, uh, all the paint and bodywork and everything on the front of this truck is uh, done. Matter of fact, the interior is done. Headliner and the seats. The rug. Everything is done. I just have to wait for my buddy Mike to get a chance to uh, finish wiring it up. You know, I mean, he's, he's busier than ever. Plus, we go to shows and everything in the summer, so uh, once Mike uh, finishes uh, the wiring stuff, we can drive this thing around. And then uh, I could put the dashboard back. That's only a matter of bolting all this stuff in. But uh, like I say, it's uh, getting cooler and uh, we can start working on this again. So uh, let me show you what we're going to do. I, I moved the truck over here. It used to be in front of the garage. But uh, I moved it out of the way and, and brought the bed around. And uh, this has uh, quite a bit of uh, work to be done. The bed is in, in decent shape. I mean, it's, it's solid. You know, that's that's one good point about it. But uh, the bad part about it is this used to be a show truck and the entire thing was covered in plastic. And they even had plastic flares and, you know, when I say plastic, I mean body putty and stuff. And uh, whoever did the work did an excellent job, but uh, it's just time to redo it. And then uh, another problem is, I don't know if you can see down here, but... Uh, some genius decided they're going to jack the truck up and they, they stuck it under the body instead of the frame so this, uh, this panel is all buckled out and when you buckle that out the inside here caves in so this whole, the whole this six foot bed, the whole six foot of this is going to have to get redone and uh, this, they must not have been able to get it off the ground by jacking it up here so they decided to go up front here and uh, jack it up here by this body part and uh, that's bad so like I say it's uh, the whole thing's got to get redone and even up here you know you got a, a crevice and uh, that's got to get sandblasted and, and get all the the rust out of there and even back here these these panels here these are uh, I don't know if you hear it but that's a lot of fiberglass and uh, putty there you can see here where they they actually made made this piece here to conform with uh, they had a, a panel back here instead of a bumper they had a, a round panel but uh, that's what I mean you know by by a customized truck and like I said whoever did the work back in the day did an excellent job and uh, over on this side you can see uh, it needs a lot of work you know there's a lot of a lot of holes and stuff in here plus they they patched it up and, and for a show truck it's this is probably parked in a garage most of its life after they did the work and uh, it was probably nice in a day but I'm not gonna grind all this putty down the bare metal and stuff I'm just gonna fix what is is bad and make it a good looking bed again and I think this this body seam here they that's actually not a seam you can, you can tell that they just made that because the plastic was probably so thick or the fiberglass whatever they have back there I don't know but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind that all out and weld that 100 percent and then do away with that that body seam you know a lot of a lot of guys do that when they customize stuff I, I did that on the cab over there I did away with a body line not a body line but a, a body seam I welded it together and and covered it but uh, here's another place where I don't know if you can see yeah uh, you know the plastic is just compromised so I'm going to have to dig all that out, cut that all out and here's another one right here, a bubble you know, I mean uh, this probably, this uh, body work and paint probably lasted a good good 30, I'd say, I'd say probably good 40 years, it's probably done back in the 70's just by looking at it but, uh, and even under here you can see where it got a little bit of uh, bubble and stuff, we got to fix all of that but it's, uh, this side is, is pretty much in decent shape. But it is going to, I am going to have to do the whole panel. So, 
And this here, this whole panel here gets covered by the, the cab, so I'm going to fix the holes. Got a few uh, blow holes here. I'm going to fix all of them. And I'm not going to worry too much. I'm going to make this, I'm going to make it right. I did reinforce up here, you know, where the body was separating a while back. But uh, I'm not going to get crazy with this because, like I said, this gets covered. But the inside, I already have the wood done. The wood is uh, mahogany and it's all urethane and stuff. So uh, I got some panels. I started cutting them out uh, years ago. And over there, you know, where it was a little buckled. But uh, this was in rough shape, but it's, in, it's, it's strong. It's still in good shape. And we're going to try and save it. So, All right. I'm not going to get crazy with it. Like I said, it's inside of bed. But we are going to make it look good. And uh, that's where we're at now. So I'm taking all the, the stuff off here, like uh, all the arms and the tailgate holder and stuff like that so uh, and then I'll rip this off and see what's under there I did put new lights in this at one time so I'm gonna have to take them out and it was a tight fit so I'm gonna have to uh, make that a little better so they just go in and out right and that's where we're at so uh, like I say it's only about 85 degrees out here so I'm gonna take that out and uh, we'll bring that in the garage and clean them up well, that's where we'll start. All right, good to see you guys back. All right, I stopped and went to get the camera for this because uh, this might help a, a few of you younger guys that are just getting into this stuff. But uh, right here, I know you see them Phillips head screws there. Them screws are are identical to the ones that hold on the the, the door locks and stuff. You know, the in the door jams and. Uh, this, I, I'm having trouble getting this one off, and what I do is I usually uh, have a ratchet, you know, just a 3 uh, three eighths ratchet, and I, uh, I put these uh, Phillips heads on there, and uh, these came off pretty easy, but you can see, you know, these are pretty hacked up. You know, some people using, using just the wrong screwdrivers and stuff like that, and what you need is a, a number three. This here is a, a Craftsman number three. It's got a, see it's a PH three on there. Phillips head three. It even has a, a number there, a part number. I'm sorry, I was looking over here. So it even has a part number there from back in the day. And the funny thing is, I have one here. This is a number two Phillips, and if you look at it, it doesn't say that. It says Craftsman V, so it's pretty. It's pretty old, but there's there's no number on it. You know, there's no part number on it. But up on up on top here, there is a two. And I don't know how you guys you can see that because I'm looking at I'm looking at a glare on this screen. But you can actually see the difference. You know, if if, if you don't know, they they both almost look like a. Uh, number two or number three but the uh, one top is a little little square and flat and it you could actually see when you put it in there the the number two is is a little sloppy and the number three let me put you on a tripod so uh, we can show you this a little better but first I'm going to show you what I'm going to use to get this this other one out it's uh, pretty tough and I can't get it with the the wrench in that this tool here you actually hook it up to your uh, your air chisel and put a wrench on this and as it's pounding away or tapping away whatever it's doing you put a wrench on there and it, them things should come right out but like I said I don't know I don't know how well you can see the the number on here I always put a link in the description for these kind of tools if I remember this was a pretty cheap tool you know under twenty dollars or so but uh, let's set you up on a tripod and we'll, we'll try and take them screws out all right, you got the air chisel out, and I got the the tool in the in there, and this this just sits on there. That, that there's no uh, little little ball or anything to hold it on, you know. And there, there isn't uh, there isn't any uh, anything on the on the thing here to hold it on. So I guess you just uh, got to use pressure. 
All right. I don't know how much you're going to see. Like I said, I, I can't see on this screen because it's so bright and glary. But I'm going to stick it on a tripod and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, let's give this a try and see how it works. All right, like I said, I got the the Phillips head in the, in the end here. And what you do is you get a three-quarter inch uh, wrench and uh, just stick it on, on here so you can actually turn that. And this goes on the screw. And then you just turn it. All right, that one's loose. regular uh, number three Phillips head, stick it in there, and them screws will come out. Right. You can't see the screws, but you can see it's loose. Alright, let me take that off of there. I hope that, like I said, I hope that uh, helps somebody out. And uh, that uh, Mayhew tool, uh, there'll be a link in the description for that. Alright. Took the tail lights out, got all the hardware off from the for the tailgate. The tailgate's already done. The tailgate's in the back room, all painted up and everything. So uh, luckily we don't have to do anything that. But uh, got all that off, and it is starting to warm up out here a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna call it quits for the day. I gotta head out to Atlantic City there to see uh, John Fogarty down at the Hard Rock. He's playing here tonight. So. He was one of the best. Uh, he's in one of the best bands uh, in the world at one time back in the 70s, early 70s. Creedence Clearwater Revival. Remember that? I say he's, they were probably only second to the Beatles. All right, I'm gonna clean myself up and uh, get ready to go down there. You know, that's where our buddy uh, Little Dirt Bike plays. He's a professional musician, and uh, he plays down in Hard Rock a lot. So, uh, all right. We're going to call it quits for now, and uh, maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Who knows? All right. We'll see you then. All right. It's been about four days now. It's a nice day out here, so uh, I think I'm going to throw a tent up and uh, do some work. All right. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get some metal here. You see this old Swiss cheese like that? It's funny. As much uh, metal is missing. This is uh, pretty solid, but like I said, this was a custom truck at one time, and they, they customized it, and I'm not going to redo everything, but you see the way you have a body line that comes down here, and uh, you know, it's like a swale. Well, I didn't do anything to this one, and you can see they just fared it down, which is fine, and looks good, and you wouldn't know it unless you knew a, what a 64 Ford looked like, so... On this side, since this is all in good shape and everything, I'm going to uh, cut this little flare off the head here and uh, keep that shape. I'm okay with that. Like I said, I'm going to I'm going to fill this uh, this body seam in here and, and go over the whole thing. You know, that's what you can do with it with a, an old truck. You can customize it do what you want. So, all right, I'm going to try and get all the welding done. There's a lot of a lot of small holes in here, especially inside the. I don't know if you can see that with the, the sun, but uh, on the top rail there, you know, they, they had some uh, holes they put in there, and I'm going to have to fill them in with the weld. But, uh, oh yeah, you want to let me show you on the inside here. This truck originally had a, a big piece of chrome going down the side here, and they did away with that. And when they did away with that, you see that sounds like metal? Well... It's not really that thick, but what they did, I'm going to see if I can show you in here. All right, you see these little titties here? They're the holes. And all the way down there, I count the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. About 10 to 12 holes. And uh, they just filled them in. And like I say, you know, it, it worked for uh, 20, 30 years, which is fine. But if you're going to do something like that, yeah, you should uh, either weld up the holes or uh, fill them with fiberglass because this is what happens. 
All right, I'm looking in. I'm looking at a glary screen here, so I don't know exactly how much you guys could see. But like right here. All right, let me let me go get another pen because I, while I was talking, I had this uh, pen open. All right, I'll be right back. All right, let's try this again. All right, so right here, I don't know if you see it, but there's a a little bubble right there, and in here got a little cracking, which means that's. Uh, that's coming through and now right here you don't see nothing but over here you got another crack and then uh, there's like a tiny bubble in the middle and if you keep going down all right there's nothing there nothing there even though there's nothing there I'm going to dig them all out and re-weld them okay I don't know how like I say I, I really can't tell how well you guys can see this because I can't see the screen uh, you got a little little bubble right there and another one right here so eventually it'll come back now if the guy had used the uh, fiberglass putty on there I think he would have been fine you know hit it in with a hammer and then uh, another one here I can't oh yeah here's one right here all right and then uh, I don't see the other ones but I'm gonna actually go from the back and uh, push them out and then grind them down and we'll weld them up so that'll be, uh, that'll be what we're doing today. We'll, we're going to weld up almost everything we can. And it's, it's quite a bit. Let's see around the front here. Somebody put like a, an angle iron down here. And they welded it. And they welded it all the way. And then when it hit halfway, they stopped. So I'm going to continue. I'm going I'm to finish welding that. And then uh, I don't see any... Maybe, I, maybe I'll weld that, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to come around the side here. You know what this is? This is when you try to weld sheet metal at uh, the lowest setting on a welder. You know, it's, if, you don't, if you don't weld sheet metal like a body man where you tack it in place and, and just keep tacking on top of tacks, this is what happens, it's going to blow through. So I'm going to put the pieces of metal in there. Cut, it, cut that out, put some metal in there, and over here, and then this back should be fine. And then this side here, we got to fill in all them holes. But uh, it's going to be our first uh, bit of work we're going to do. We'll start filling this, filling the metal in, and uh, strengthen it up, and uh, get it prepared for body work. All right. Let me, uh, let me go get a cutting wheel and start cutting some stuff out here. I forgot to mention, I think on a, when I left you off on Friday, I said I was going to go to Atlantic City to watch uh, Fogarty. And uh, it, was, uh, it was actually a great show. I had great seats. I was, I was three rows back, dead center, in the middle of the arena. And uh, I was about 20 foot away from uh, the band. 20 foot away from Fogarty the whole night, so uh, maybe I'll throw a clip in there if I can find one. I, I did take some video and some uh, pictures, so uh, maybe we'll throw a picture in there. See old John Fogarty. Guy 77 years old and still rocking. Like he was uh, in his 20s or 30s. Unbelievable. Alright, enough jibber jabber, let's get some work done. Alright, it's about noon, and uh, I don't think I'm going to mess with this down here today. I think uh, our game plan is to uh, finish all these holes. Right, there's ten of them on each side. I got them ground down to metal. And uh, what I did is uh, ground the holes out. And there you see there's still a little plastic in there, so push the little plug out and uh, sort of reamed it a little bit so that it's all metal there and uh, then what I'm gonna do I did it over here on this side a little bit is uh, go around the back and uh, just smooth it out you know and then what I'm gonna do is a little different than just uh, go around and weld it because you go around and weld that you spot weld it it's you know it takes a little time so uh, what I'm going to do is, I got these uh, quarter inch bolts with the round heads on them, and uh, 
I'm going to just stick that in there and plug the hole and uh, put two little tacks in them. Sorry about that. I was looking at the, the truck. I'm going to weld that in there and uh, just tack, tack two sides of it and then just cut the stud off. And then I come back and uh, just make a nice rosette weld on there. And it'll be, be nice and thick and, and be uh, held in from behind and everything like that. And uh, never have any problem with that, that again. And you're not going to see them because you can see them here because I got the bed sitting uh, a good five foot off the ground. So that's them holes right now are six foot. When this is on a truck, uh, that's going to be down around here. And you're never going to see that unless you, you stick your head up under there and, you know, lay in the bed to look up there. So, uh, all right, that's the game plan. Let's try and get these uh, all welded up and then even, even get some fiberglass thrown on there so this don't rust. Alright, let's do some work. Alright, I got all them screws tacked in on one side there. It took me a couple minutes. And uh, they're on there pretty good. Look, I shake the whole truck with it. So they're actually on there pretty good. Now I'm going to uh, cut them cut them off and then uh, rosette them on. And uh, then they won't go anywhere. Alright. Alright, got them all plug welded and uh, it's gonna knock off a little bit, that's all. Just knock the top off a little. Alright. Alright, get that all ground down flush. We're happy with it. And now we're gonna take the grinder and uh, just grind around here. Some of the heat from all of this, you know. That's another thing, you gotta watch out when you're when you when you're grinding stuff, you know, you could do just as much damage with with a grinder and heat warping panels as you can with a torch but we didn't have that problem but uh, we're going to grind a little more around here in case there was a little plastic that might have been compromised I don't see any plastic but uh, the top coat of paint on some of this was so we're going to grind around there and then mix up some plastic or not plastic but uh, fiberglass and and just put a coat on all of this so it doesn't rust up and uh, maybe we'll do the other side tomorrow all right, let me get the grinder out and grind this up. All right, got that all ground down. Now I'm uh, going to get some fiberglass, slap it on here, and just to keep everything from rusting. So, uh, and then when we get to the bodywork and stuff, we'll have uh, some good uh, surface to go to. All right, let's get, make up, mix up some uh, fiberglass. All right, got all fiberglass on there, and uh, it's looking pretty good. I wasn't worried about getting on the paint because this gets all sanded down. Uh, and this whole side is going to get a uh, coat of plastic, thin coat of plastic. So, Alright, I think that's enough for today. It's starting to get pretty hot out. A little dirt bike's coming over uh, later on and uh, I'll see if he wants to uh, weld these holes up. He might want to do it without the, the bolts in there. He might just want to rosette it. He's pretty good with that, with that welder. so. We'll see. All right, what do you guys say? Enough of this for now. All right. See you later. All right. Here's a little bonus footage for you. Got my little buddy here. Oops. There you go. Put your mask up. Let me see you. There you go. Oops. There you go. All right. He, uh, whoops. I'm excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. He, uh, he did three of these, and uh, he's actually doing better than I was doing. And uh, I had a backup, so... Uh, He's going to plug weld these, and uh, maybe I'll get a little footage of them. All right, go ahead, buddy. Take a look. Perfect. Perfect, man. You skipped one now. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Forgot about that. All right. No worries. All right. All right, there you go. Took a little dirt bike about uh, 10 minutes to do that. And for me to fix that now and uh, put putty on and stuff like that, it's only going to take about uh, 
15 minutes or to a half hour. But uh, you know, he's he's a much better welder. What can I say? You know, that's why I had to put a backing plate with mine because I, I'm just not that good. So you can't be good at everything. All right. What do you say, buddy? Enough of this. Yep. All right. See you guys in the next one.